business. It's also awash with psychopaths. In fact, one of the things that psychopaths do is they're very good at influencing people. They're very good at, as I say, manipulating and influencing the way people think. And Western business, high level Western business, is a extremely psychopathic culture. And just to show you how effective psychopaths are at manipulating people, they convince most people who are interested in business, talk about business or whatever, they convince them that this dog-eat-dog -dog world of business, this cutthroat world where there's backstabbing and all kinds of shenanigans and skullduggery, they convince people that behaving that way is legitimate. Well, it's just business. It's okay to screw people over. It's just business. That is psychopathic. And the reason why business is psychopathic, high-level business, is because it's overwhelmed with psychopaths. So they have created that culture. They've created a psychopathic culture, those psychopaths that run high-level business. And because psychopaths are willing to do stuff which other people are not willing to do, people with a conscience, that's why they're able to get up within a psychopathic system. Whereas people, normal people like us who have a conscience, we wouldn't be able to go to the lengths and the extremes of psychopaths. Although some people do. Some people are, get sucked in by the psychopathic culture. They get taken under the wing by these psychopaths and they themselves are not born natural psychopaths, but they go along with what the psychopaths are doing. And that's what happens with a lot of people who go into business. They start, people who are good people before start becoming psychopathic because of the genuinely born psychopathic people who have molded the system. 